respect you, Lily Allen. I was actually going to do a thing on you, Lily Allen. <laughs> I was. I keep getting run over by like a million stories and stuff, and then she does this. Okay. I was really annoyed the other night by another celebrity calling somebody saying that she looks like. Okay, what did she say? Okay. I, I don't want to be insensitive to the fact that she's going through some stuff because she got somebody, she I don't know, family loss. But to her to equate bullying to people going, she's obsessed with youth and got s facial surgery. And I was like, God, isn't that kind of a compliment, though? Because it's kind of saying she looks younger than her age and she looks really well and too perfect. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, but it's not bullying because it doesn't fit the criteria of bullying no matter what. Because they're not trying to be me like they think that she's doing something and she's claiming she does not or has not. And sometimes some of these people actually do and they just try to hide, you know, like they didn't do, do anything. It's kind of one of those things like who cares? Brush it off. It is. It's an opinion. You don't like it. It could be annoying. It's not meant to like bring her down or try to vindictively hurt her. You know, it's like none of those things. And bullying also has to do with something with the um, power dynamic where the bully um, is abusing their power over somebody that they perceive as being um, weaker or lesser than them or whatever, which is typically typically from celebrities doing that. I'm sure Lily Allen is not like, the, I don't know. I don't know Lily Allen. Okay. So, I mean, she could have said things to other people. It's not very nice. I don't know if I'd consider her a bully. Um, she has had some... Uh, oh, God. Her childhood. The reason why I was going to touch on her, because her childhood has a similar thing, like Kevin's, where her parents are total F-ups. And she constantly will bring these things up. And it's almost like she normalized some things at, a, at the same time. But then, I don't know, like her dad got her raped or let some guy rape her. It was crazy. And then he's like bragging about it. It was disgusting, okay? So just a little history on that. And I'm sure some of you know her more than even I do, okay? Um, but this was a little annoying because <laughs> it's not exactly the same thing. And they do call males Nepo babies. Like, um, I would not put it next to Karen. It becomes a Karen if they start complaining about things that it's just like, it's just a fact, okay? So your parents, whatever, your parents are in the industry and you got into it because of them. You know, whatever, you know, that thing. You're only famous because your parents, you're only this because of that. And it's like, just take it for what it is. You know, if it's true, it's true. I mean, that's it, right? Um, but okay, so Karen, yeah, <laughs> Karen. Okay, some things have been called a Karen that really isn't a Karen, but then there's things that are a Karen that totally are a Karen. And yeah, it's trying to describe white women that complain about. About, like makeup shit like okay i've never called the cops on anything frivolous i've never have in my life um i would prefer never to call them if i never have to um it's like a woman who's sitting there going i'm entitled to you know hot coffee and if i don't get hot coffee and it's cold i'm gonna call the cops it's like what the hell um, but I did have an issue when they're like, oh, and they asked for the manager. I was like, dude, I have to ask for the manager, you know, because some of these people are such assholes. That's not a Karen. It is when it's over something completely frivolous. And then, or, and, or making up something that somebody did in order to just get somebody in trouble. Okay. The, that's a legit woman. Okay. <laughs> that's a legit woman. And there's like a tank of them around. Like, you know, I just don't like this girl here because we don't agree with her job. So we're going to call the cops on her and say she's doing drugs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how many times this has ever happened to people. But um, I in, in our case, I believe that the cops totally made up the situation. But he blamed a Karen. He, blamed, he tried to say that a woman called to claim that I was doing, I don't know, it's crazy. I was like, even if somebody did call on that, you have to catch me doing it before you start accusing me of a crime. Okay, so they couldn't do anything anyway, okay? So there was like this whole thing about it. And I was, the 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 reason why, the, I could tell you a little bit about it because I don't think that the officer knew who I was at the time before he pulled the bullshit. So they were corrupt. This is the corrupt cops. 
and I just reported them, did this whole thing. This is the gang member sheriffs. Okay, so I'm waiting for my boss to come and unlock my my workplace so I can get my check. And then I was uh, moving um, out to another area, so I had to wait for her to get to the job place. So I parked outside where I always park. And what was happening right here was there was some women, some fucking Karens, that didn't want our workplace right there by their houses, okay? But this business had been there, um, it was like grandfathered in before, there was this whole legal thing with the city, I guess. It was grandfathered in before all this crap. And so all these crusty ass women didn't want it there. That's it, right? Because her husband, whatever the shit is, right? So they're all pissed. So they started making up shit to try to get people in trouble. And I think, in my mind, I'm thinking if any legitimacy was in that, which I don't think there was, but if there was, it would be one of the women calling the cops to make up that somebody from the job place was doing that. So the cops came out, total misconduct. So this is misconduct no matter what. They come out. And I am, I went up to my job place and she wasn't there yet. So I went back out to my car and I'm waiting. I'm just waiting, you know, and she, uh, comes after this whole situation. So these cops come pulling up in, they're like, you better tell us now. Cause we know you're doing, you're on meth. And I'm like, excuse me. Yeah. They straight up came up to me like that. And I was like, uh, I'm scared. Like, is this a joke? And I go, no. And he's like, it, it'll be better for you if you tell us right now and be honest with us right now. We know that you're wanting. And I'm like, what? Yeah, totally. And I'm, I'm freaking out, you know, and I'm like, I don't even know. So he's like, you tell us now. I'm like, you go check my information. So he didn't check my information. He didn't check my car. He had no legitimate reason to harass me. None. Even if somebody making up some shit. So none what's over. He could drive by and see if he see that, but that's not what happened. So he's accusing me of a crime. So he runs my information, finds out none of that's true, freaks the fuck out. And he's like, oh, some woman called and said that, you know, you're doing, doing drugs here. Some shit. And I'm like, what? And then he zooms off, right? He takes the fuck off, takes the fuck off. And you know, so if there was any legitimacy to it and some woman did it, that's a Karen right there. She made up some shit. She should be arrested, right? If there was legitimately a woman that did that, she should be arrested because it wasn't true. It wasn't remotely true. And he cannot act in that manner either. So both of them. So he wouldn't arrest her, I think, because his actions were misconduct. So if he goes after her, if she was real... He will get in trouble too, right? Because they're going to be like, what happened here? What happened here? I go, oh yeah, he accused me of this. Yeah, so I went to investigate it later. And they said, what's your problem? Nothing happened. I'm like, no, something happened. Something happened, assholes. You little fucking gangbang or fucking pieces of shit. But anyway, that's a Karen. That would be it. That would legitimately be a Karen. Okay, so another Karen would be an example white woman who's ex totally jealous of me in my job and calls the owner and says i bleach my hair blonde you know and i get in trouble right and then i have to quit you know they push me out like they're trying to fire me and i'm like for what reason that's not illegal and, and so you have to question like why this woman would act in this manner that's a karen that's the jealous damn white woman you know, sometimes it's a person of color. It doesn't matter. It's that fucking woman. I know they were trying to say specifically with white women, but it technically is not. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. But any woman that be acting like that. So, no. And, it, and no, I would not equate it to Nepo baby. Only if they're sitting there complaining constantly about it. But, yeah, I mean, don't make yourself a Karen. <laughs> like, don't make yourself that Karen. It doesn't mean much. It's just saying that you wouldn't be where you're at or, or, you know, it, that's kind of hard to determine where someone's going to be at based on whatever, but, um, they, it, you had an automatic, um, step up to the plate for, you know, being, um, related to famous parents or known parents or whatever the case may be. So what do you say about it? Lily? <laughs> Lily.
Nepo babies, I think, is quite like Karen in the sense that it's just a word that is basically used for women who are taking up space and we'd rather they didn't. And they should just go away. Lily39 told her co-host. Uh, no, it's used towards men. They say it towards, um, was it Tom Hanks' son? They say it towards all the sons. They say it to everybody. So, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, if they don't say, well, I don't even know who your brother is. You're more famous than your brother. Does anybody know her brother? I don't know her brother. I know your name. Your brother, um, no. <laughs> like, no. Alfie? I don't know how Alfie did. What does Alfie do? Oh, he's an actor of the Game of Thrones. See, I, I you know, I don't watch this shit. I don't know him. <laughs> like, I don't know him. No, it's used, it's used towards bratty, it's used towards bratty kids. Like, I, I, yeah, I mean, and maybe, maybe the women are acting more Karen. I mean, I don't know. I never hear about your brother. I never do. So maybe because he doesn't, maybe the whole thing is, Lily, <laughs> is because he doesn't speak out against the clan of clowns, um, he may be go riding along with the with the pack, and that's why people don't pull it out. So maybe, I mean, maybe in somewhere there's kind of a truth to what you're saying, but um, I wouldn't necessarily put that in with Karen, but maybe, I don't know. Who watches Game of Thrones? I see, I don't watch it. I watch Oxygen, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> HD, GTV is getting busted a million times over right now. <laughs> They're all getting sued. <laughs> they did some shitty work. It looked great on TV, didn't it? <laughs> she often found herself tied to their father in the media. I feel a lot of time. Wait, a lot of the times over the past 15, 20 years when I've been written about, it's always Lily Allen, daughter of Keith Allen. And I don't see that happening with boys as often as it does with girls. Um, I do. They'll say Tom Hanks' son. Okay, wait. Let me check right now. Let me see if you're real. <laughs> Tom, and that's the whole he headline. Tom Hanks' son punches a man trying to break into his lap. <laughs> we have to know that it's a celebrity son because nobody cares about Chuck. It's like. Tom, Tom's the most famous one. Like, Chet did some really bad freaking music. I don't know what he did. The wannabe gangster. I just think it's fun. Oh, and they... And they yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just making me laugh. This is terrible. He punched a man. Okay, so he, he, his son punches a man. They don't even say his name in the headline. Tom Hanks' his son punches a man. It doesn't even say Chet. It doesn't even say... Lily, you're lucky if they say your name. I think you're just not noticing it. I think you're just not noticing it. I have noticed it. But it's usually to the bratty kids. The bratty kid. I, I don't know if I would consider you bratty. I think when you say things, I think like when you're hitting on some points, you have some important things to say. Mostly if your dad's sitting there promoting you to get raped. Okay, that, I mean, you have a lot of good things to say on that. Um, Though I do feel like you still normalized a lot of that stuff. That's just my opinion, you know, because I'm, you know. But I <laughs> think like, that's it. So... I grew up in a certain class bracket, and I grew up in among people that worked in media, and I don't think I've ever really disputed that. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with you. I I mean, whatever. When Nepo baby discourse first became widespread online in 2022, actually, it's been said for freaking long ass time. The not fair performer took X formally and spoke about the concept. The Nepo babies y'all should be worrying about are the ones working for legal firms, the ones working for banks, and the ones working in politics. If we're talking about real world consequences and robbing people of opportunity, but that's none of my business. And before you come at me for being a Nepo baby myself, I will be the first to tell you that I literally deserve nothing. Yeah, well, I don't have a problem with you, girl. I just don't. I don't. But it is what it is. But you had an opportunity above me. Like, I don't have that to fall back on. Like, you, no matter what about you, no matter what about you, you could be the crappiest artist ever. 
you'll still be talked about and thrown into the media because your parents. That's it. I mean, that's just the truth about it. Whereas I can easily be erased out of the story because people, you know, the whole thing with that. Um, no, I didn't know your brother, but I guess a lot of people do. I, that's just me. That's just, I don't know anybody. It was like when we were out in the fucking Jerry Sally. <laughs> I was like, and there's these actors next to me and I have no idea who the fuck they are. We're, we were just working on that movie with uh, the TV thing with Alice and Mac and we go to this thing afterwards and there's these actors by me I have no idea who they are, but my my friend from like she come in she come in from another country I met her on the set here and she's like, oh my god Don't you know who those people are right there? I'm like fuck no, I don't uh, so I'm always by them and everybody has to tell me I'm the one that's oblivious and Actually, I don't even know who your parents are Lily I know you for you. That's kind of the funny thing about this. I was like, they don't, I don't, when they write her, I don't recall them going, daughter of so-and-so. I always see Lily Allen. And for some reason, I associated her with other people. Who the hell? I don't know. It was kind of weird, but I, I, I don't even know who her dad is. Like, when I was going through the story, they were saying, oh, he did this, that, this, that. And I was like, oh, I don't associate it with her i just know her for her unlike tom hanks's son where it's constantly like tom's son did this tom's son did that or um um who else are uh, the other sons of people um a lot of them a lot of them oh man <laughs> i was like there's a lot of them i don't think it's any different than the k-fed thing either though even though it's not his parents it's like He's only known because he dated a celebrity. Like, nobody would be talking about him, maybe. That actually starts going into that topic of conversation that Kevin was talking about, and he's, like, leveraging. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, men also... But men abuse that power of leveraging to people to get them in the industry. So, but also people do try to do that to leverage themselves into the industry. The craziest thing about my story is I didn't do that. And they tried to leverage. Okay, so my perpetrator tried to do this leveraging thing. And it didn't even work. You know, it's so fucked up. It didn't even work. Like, no one cares about me. Like, he brings me. I was trying to talk about this, actually. And the context of it is I can kind of define it a little bit better right now. Because people are using these, you know, terms and things like that. But what he was trying to do was show me off to Hollywood so people see me with him. So when the paparazzi are outside that, that deli, which I didn't even know. I didn't know anything about this bullshit. He does. And he's like, yeah, let's go here. And it's like, okay. I'm just thinking it's just a, you know, I, I've seen it before and I, and, and I think I went in there to go bowling. In the bowling thing, because I was a big avid bowler, if anybody knows that. <laughs> like, but anyway, the, um, but I didn't go eat in the place. And then he's like, go over here. So then I'm going to get a table right at the fucking front. So the only people that are going to do that are people that are like, I want to be seen with her. So people see me with her. So this isn't even him trying to hide me at this point. I'm of age at this point. But he's not trying to hide me. He's like literally trying to be like, look, everybody, I got, I got her on the jet. Look, look, look. It. And so he was getting more pissed because I wouldn't sit on his lap. He was trying to pull the Kevin thing right there too. He's like, why are you so far away? Cause I wouldn't sit next to him in the, in the booth. I was in the, at the end of the booth and he was sitting in the middle of the booth. And I was like, I'm having a normal, like what I would do with anybody. I'm not going to go sit on your fucking lap. And so he's getting mad. He's like, why are you so far away? I'm like, I don't know. I'm comfortable right here. So um, hands are not going to be, you know, going on here. So um, so I, I'm sitting in this thing. And um, yeah, so he's trying to like do this thing and it did like i was saying it didn't even work because like nobody cares about him and nobody cares about me so it's but it's just him trying to show off and then it ends up being that some other woman did see it i guess and got jealous 
and then wanted to throw, sh you know, do the shit later when I went back there. Um, cause I, I didn't even know anything about that either. My friend was like, let's go somewhere after the set. So we went there, I don't know, like a year, a year after to whatever the, after that thing. And then they started throwing shit and yelling and screaming and being shitty to, to me. And I'm like, why is this happening? I don't know anybody here. <laughs> like, I don't know. And, you know, and then I said later we found out that she knew him. So I was like, oh, okay, that, that, right there, that explains it all. But he did that. I think that's a shitty ass thing to do. Number one, I think it's shitty because I'm being used in this way to be seen in Hollywood. Like he's something special and I'm oblivious to this game. And then yet it didn't even work. Like no one cares about me. No one's like, who's this girl? You know, like nobody cares. They're just like on this thing. And so when I'm talking about the story, um, I get mega bullies. Like I got bullies because of that. And the, and it's not even me doing it. It's this guy. It's not me leveraging myself in the industry. It's him begging and grooming his child victim into going on this like date thing, like this lunch thing. It was supposed to be dinner. But anyway, it ends up getting to a lunch right in the middle of the day when everybody's all this, all the entertainment people come in, you know, this thing. And I, he's, I don't know. It was fucking nuts. The whole thing's nuts. 